Sam, I think we should expand recruitment of faculty. To this foggy guy, ducky afternoon. Why would you organise a meeting at the end of a works attempt? Oh, how long have I been here, Lottie? Lottie! Go on, Lott! Who's that? Be your safe, secure amongst friends. Be still, be tranquil. You are safe. Charge the barricade. The shield should hold. Something unfamiliar. It doesn't feel arcane in nature. It feels wrong somehow. Hollow. Incomplete. Decaying. Beacons. Flat streaming into the sky. We are not adversaries in this endeavor. Do not make me your enemy. This is my job, Doc Master. If you won't answer my questions, I will find another way to put this puzzle together. You have had your your warning, son. Came for you. I was... You have that effect on people, my love. Is he? Are you? You saw it. Did you? This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test, but the true threat. What about the other two who kept showing up? The mercs from the school. How do they figure into all this? Scarlet and Jillowat. We only really met them later. We had no idea how big this whole thing was. Help us! What happened? We were attacked. They got Jill God. Shot him. I used all energy fighting back. He won't wake up. We've been laying low days. He no move. He no breathe. <laughs> Crude weapons won't hurt Scarlet. You know this. He is no longer of this world. Then why not wake, eh? Did you both draw? On the elements? He don't throw up a wind shell. I use fire. Lots of it, I suspect. And lightning in the road, too. You are both drawing from the same source. And his life force is tied to it. His soul is weaving into yours through it. Is he coming back? With my help. But I have some questions first. When can I expect delivery? You have been in the city for some time. You have been enjoying our patron's gifts. But we have yet to receive your sacrifice. Soon. We just... No, I don't. Uh, Jill, please, please! Do you recognize this feeling? The helplessness? I will... I don't believe you, Scarlet. I think the power you have been given has made you forget your place. I want you to remember how it felt when you met him. When 
when he found you. When he spared you in the gap. Do you? Show me. Beg me. The way you begged him. Or I will sever your friend from you. And you can watch him slip away forever. And then I will take your heart. Take your strength Please. for my own. Neil. Beg me. I will do anything. Just, just let him live. Good. So you do remember. <gasps> you tried to run, Scarlet. And after you made such a fuss in my home, Theodore and Anon were beside themselves. Everyone knows you behave yourself in the road. I'm sorry, Nelfit. He lost control. Exposed himself. No, no. You lost control. You chose to disguise the truth from him. If he knew. I don't care. Here, drink this. I will fix the connection, but I need something first. Give me a moment. Jill, I... I'm sorry. What is this? Fuel for the fire. Please, I don't understand. What's happening? You said you could make it better. The sickness. I did not save the righteous indignation. She's spent already. I can feel her soul leaking from the marks he left. He might as well take the last few scraps. You want to save him, don't you? It's you. No. No, please. Quiet, girl. Your suffering will be over soon. Please don't. Don't do this. I want to live. Hurry it up. She is one of my best girls. Please don't. don't it do this. irritates me to see no. her sullied. No, no, what no. do you want me to do? Please. I thought you were please. going. We no. can do it my don't way. Do this. If you like. No. But no, no, no. blood magic can be awfully messy. And frankly, you seem squeamish. No. No, no. Aren't you going to stop her? <coughs> no, no, no. Don't. What is that? Don't. She's calling for help. Something that will I expect you to deliver. This is your last warning. So you went back? I did, yeah. I laid low for a bit. Found the whole thing a bit freaky. But I was on the clock, wasn't I? Missing kids and all that. So yeah, I went back. And let me guess, they were gone? Gone? I wish. No, unfortunately for my noggin, they were still there. I tried to sneak up on them. Dead of night, silent as a mouse. <laughs> Shit! Oh, my fucking head! Oh. But they were master assassins or something. It was like they knew I was coming somehow. When I woke up, I was tied up in their little cutaway. Talk. Why do you come for us? It's a little hard to speak with the thing in my mouth. We have nothing. And you want to take it? Have you people not learned your lesson yet? I think you might have me confused with someone else. I was simply... Look around. I do not want to send another message. Lars sent me. Who? Lars, you know. About my height. About my weight. A little slimmer, maybe. Same pointy ears, 
A little younger, can't grow a beard. The guardsman. Yeah, yeah, the guardsman, yeah. Are you here to arrest us? No, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, just here to, uh, ask some questions. I don't believe you. Well, that's because I'm lying. <laughs> and I am very, very afraid. I have no time for this. <laughs> you have very strong hands. Oh, oh, I'm choking! Oh, I'm dying! Oh. Let him go, sweetheart. No killing. It's... Uh, it's not oh, worth oh, oh, any of this. Thanks! Didn't realize there was someone behind me. It would have scared the shit out of me, you know, if I hadn't already shit my pants. If I have been discovered, we should let them take me. I'm... I'm already on borrowed time, which I cannot repay. Okay, Mr. Gravelly Mystery Voice. Let me reassure everyone right now. I am not here to take anyone away. I'm a private investigator, all right? I'm just looking into some missing kids. Really. Check my pockets. I've got a card somewhere. I can't read this. Pass it to me, my love. Right. Huh. Mr. I'm getting the sense Cole that there's a whole Lump. other story oh. going on here that I'm in the middle of. <laughs> that is and very I fun. Missing children? <clears throat> a whole bunch of them. Kids are just dropping off the face of La Tari and no one's looking for them. But, um, in particular, your old friends, Vasa and Mako. The children. They are missing. Yeah. You were, um, actually the last person to have seen them. I would never. Right. Uh, I don't know you all that well, but you, you seem nice. I'll be honest, though. You might want to work on your story a bit. Um, because Vasa and Marco already told you the kids I were gone, I right? I remember it was... Sal was, was not in her right mind, Mr. Lumbo. She was, a, uh, she was a little distracted at that. Seeing me. Right, right, yeah. And a strange fella turns up and he's gonna throw you for a spin, right? Well, I'm afraid that it's, uh. It's a little bit more than just that. Mother of blackbirds! And all that is good and holy! Hulus and all his mad fucking minions! What the fuck is that? Your neck? Your face? Your. Is that. Is that. I mean, stuff is supposed to be inside your chest, right? How. How are you alive? I suspect that I'm not. Look familiar? Hmm. Can you turn that thing off? No. We don't control it. Sorry. You're injured. We should get you a healer. No. No. I will go to a healer once you and your guards have left our land. You are not welcome here. Ms. Isolde, there was a serious attack here. On your home. What is your point? The guard refused to aid the crown during the rebellion. You have left us at the mercy of those revolutionary fanatics. We don't want your protection, and we don't need your protection. Let me guess. You're not going to tell us anything. On the contrary, I will tell you exactly who did it. What? What? If you get out of wide end. What? Be very, very specific here. I couldn't be more specific. Matthias Alaric, the dock master. He turned up with six Ren folk and those dragon weapons, and he did this to me. Why would Matthias attack you, Ms. Isolde? Because he is out of his mind. But he left you alive. He killed my private security. Came in making threats and then ran off as quickly as he came. I have no idea what the Drake was talking about. He is clearly a loon. You don't seem very... Luca, can you excuse us for a moment? The Dark Master. Would he really attack a busy street in Wide End? In broad daylight? Hmm. Hmm. No one will protect him, if this is true. The Isoldes are landed gentry. Old money. This doesn't seem his speed, boss. Something is wrong with this picture. All the Saurians around here? Something's off. You're right, of course. This story doesn't add up. And the neighbors are refusing to answer questions. By all accounts, this lot have been living here for a while. 
Make sure you capture everything and get any witnesses we can for questioning. I want this watertight. Don't take any messages from Wei Guan. Don't speak to him. Don't let anyone get a whiff of who our suspect is. If he is involved, he's gone off the reservation. Last time I saw him... You saw him? In the shelter, after the crush. He'd lost people in the melee. His wife, I think. Maybe he's gone off the deep end? I mean, his kids. His kids? They were missing. I've been out of the loop for a bit, but I thought that news would be everywhere. We must be investigating, right? First I've heard of it, Luca. Maybe we should pay him a visit. So what? You're dead? How does that work? What do you mean, how does that work? I don't know. Are you sure you're not just, like, really, really, really ill? My body has... no warmth. No... Breath, no pulse, I feel no hunger or thirst, I require no sleep or rest, and my flesh rots away more and more every day. I've not heard of such a sickness, and, you know, the whole dying thing kind of gave it away. This is all a bit much. Since the fall, this shouldn't be possible. Without the gods, I mean. When I first woke, I thought that this might be the work of the divine. Lady Argenti's blessing. I I had saw her blessings and benediction only hours before. I, I thought the beacons were divine signals drawing me to a holy mission. What beacons? I I see them. And I feel them. These bright beams of light streaming into the sky. They call to something within me. The call of one of them was so powerful it nearly drove me. It's okay, we don't have to talk about that. This is not divine. The beacons are not holy. They grow and spread like a sickness in this city. What actually are they? Uh, People, mostly. They they come together at times uh, underground, in the sewers, I reckon. But they mostly go about their business like anyone else, moving back and forward between the same places day after day after day. All of them except... Except one. One moment it's here, one moment it's there. I call that beacon the decider. Wow, you have names for them? That's cute, I guess. A little fucking weird, but alright. Whatever floats your boat. You got a fucking crater in your chest where the heart should be, and you're fucking- Where that beacon goes, the others follow. Sometimes, new ones appear. Sometimes, well, they're extinguished. Okay, so you, a dead person, sees magical shining lights bouncing around the city, appearing, disappearing, talking to you. Yep, I took a bad fall. Or I ate some bad mushrooms. I don't mean to be rude. This is all fascinating and terrifying in equal measure. But, um, unless you know something about the kids, can I go? I really don't want to be here anymore. Of course, I'm I'm sorry. It's It's been a while since we've had new company. Could you cut me out of the bindings then, please? It must have been difficult to believe what you were seeing. I bloody well didn't! 
The whole thing was fishy as fuck. Selective fucking memory from the prime suspect and the disappearances. A dead fucking man turning up contrary to every rule in the book. It was an obvious redirect. Lars is a caster with all kinds of weird tricks. I wasn't having any of it. So, what did you do? The only common sense thing I could. This was all beyond my pay grade, so I went straight to the bloody guard. You trusted the guard with this? With everything you knew? I'm not an idiot. I didn't just go back to missing persons. I went to the one person in the guard everyone can trust. The person everyone knows will do the right thing. The commander? <sighs> Hardly. He's a bloody politician. I went to Captain Luobo. Just so happened he was taking a break from saving the day. And thanks to the grapevine, I knew exactly where he would be. Okay, now this is the part where you would exchange your vows to one another. You can either prepare something for the day, or you could read something from the Disciples of I. Praise them! I like the idea of something traditional. The Disciples of I. I have prepared our vows. Um, what? Mine too? Yes. I had the Amedu and Grivier help me draft them. Ma'am, this is a marriage, not some irreligious viran. The expectations are quite clear in the scripture. I agreed to a religious ceremony because it's important to you. But this is still a contract. I'm not going to be given lesser terms. Of course, I will happily read the vows you've written, Anna. I must say, I do not approve of those meddling griffiers involving themselves in the holy union. I suppose you would like to go back to the early years of the affliction. The church was really helping to us back then. Cole! Cole Lumber! Um, jolly goodness for you. I'll be right there. Cole, how are you? How's business? Still on the shop on Adatis? Um... Yeah, hi. Uh, have we met? Of course we have. Don't tell me you've forgotten me. I'm Captain Luobo Ironside. I waved at you and said good morning when you first moved to town. Yeah, I mean, I know you, Captain. You're famous. Everyone knows you. Even before the bark attack, I mean... Nonsense. I got in the papers a couple of times, but I'm not a landmark. Not like the offices of Cole Lumbo, private detective. Can you even see my shop from the thoroughfare? I'm getting distracted. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you on such an important day. No problem at all. Ong and I are always glad to meet with the people we serve. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't have come, but it's a bit of a sensitive issue. Well, well, I hope I can help. Curse you! God! You scared the life out of me, Sam! Why the drama? What's going on? Why am I getting reports that your stegs are aiding kidnappers? I don't know what you mean, Sam. Lars Shoe, shacking up with the lead suspect in one of your missing person cases. Do you think I don't have enough to deal with? Get your house in order. Roger, Sam. I'll, uh, I'll look into it right away. Wait, what? Shit! Good smack! It's all... Oh, well, Sam Commander, uh... What's wrong? Why is the guard commander coming to me about your officers shagging suspects in missing persons cases? First, I've heard of it, boss. Uh, it wasn't Ristagia, was it? He's always struck me as the sort. No, it's Lars. And you aren't listening to me. Missing persons. Lars is sniffing around the missing. Yes. Aren't you supposed to be keeping him under control? He is. He hasn't closed anything since last year. Well... Why am I hearing about him interacting with persons of interest in sensitive cases? Who? Who's he chasing up? They're all no marks, with no suspects. Some Selwyn Janicek. Oh, I've never heard of her. Of course you haven't, because the investigation doesn't exist. But the commander seems to know more about it than either of us. Find out what our exposure is, and close him down quickly. Or get right on it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh. Get up, you lazy piece of shit. Sarge. Oh, is that you? Oh, what you said, so grumpy. Oh, didn't we have a great... Ugh. Oh, Captain. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> what, uh... What can I do for you? 
Selwyn Jinichik. Who is she? What do you know about her? What? Oh, no, boss. Oh, you misunderstand. Oh, she said she was Missing married. person's case. She is a suspect. Oh, um, I'll, uh, I'll have to check the file. There is no file, because you didn't file one. Well, then I guess there is no Selwyn Genchi Lake. Don't get smart with me, lad. Parents that are missing are from Kera, Mitko and Visa. Case is less than a ten day old. Yeah. Yeah, the, the proles from the hovels. I remember him. A fella stank of alchemics. Who is so ingenitic? I've got Gusia breathing down my neck, asking me questions, because the god commander himself is interested. But I thought he was the one who... Uh... Who is Selwyn Zafar? <sighs> she was some mad woman who lived with him. Probably ran off with the kids. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, just some nutter. Right. Okay, okay. Well, it appears that one of our own might have been involved in this one. Lieutenant Shu. Always knew he was into something like this. Skulking around at night. Fits the profile of a fucking pervert. This could make us all look bad. This Selwyn woman is holed up in the Narrows. We are going to go and lift her. I want you on this one. But I'm still injured, boss. Light duties. It's a fucking ear, Zafar. Get your armour on and meet me at Newheath. So you just went storming through town with the weapons. It never occurred to you that the quiet knives might be behind the missing children? I wasn't aware of any others. And Simeon grooms street children. He doesn't kidnap highborn. What use would Oxyul and Cyril be to him? We are low on ammunition. I didn't anticipate that they would put up such a fight. I suspect the quiet knives might be even more difficult. The boys, they're, uh, they're not soldiers, boss. Sort if of... they don't want to be part of this, then release them. But do not think that they can scurry back for work after we are done. Is there an after boss? Half of them didn't show up at the rendezvous. I found most of the weapons, I like. I think it's safe to say they've added in their notice. That's fine. Share the ammunition with the remainder. Who do we have left? Marlon, Tristan and Yaffe. But I think Yaffe should go. He's lost his nerve. He's just afraid of what you'll do. Talk master, Matthias Allery. I like the gear. You are under arrest for multiple counts of murder, destruction of property, egregious violation of the King's peace, and conspiracy. Come with us quietly. I am busy. Come with us quietly, or we will be required to use force. I don't think he's listening, boss. I am busy, Lieutenant. Get off my docks. We aren't leaving. Boss! Is... Fuck. Boss, did you... They were never here, Rayan. Put out the fire. That was cold, boss. He's grieving, I mean. But he has completely lost it. Glad we didn't try that one in person. Attempt murder of two godsmen? I think the nails are in the coffin now. We are going to need help bringing him in. Illusions aren't going to get him into a jail cell. But there is something off here. We're missing something. Why haven't we heard anything from Misper about this? Not a clue. I got a friend over there I can ask. But I think we need to bring the Dockmaster and his crew in, right? Do we have enough to go to Wagwan? We do. More than enough, I'd say. 